Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. It's outside at 1218 to Riceville Beach. How about the water? Look it down and uh, Beach Strand is active enough. Also active with a southerly breeze flow. You see how the breakers aren't coming into the beach at a 90 degree angle. They're a little bit skewed that way. There's a pretty strong south to north longshore current going today with the breeze flow and longshore currents have been known to sweep swimmers into rip currents, which there's a moderate risk of those this afternoon. So keep it safe in that mid 70s surf if you're stealing some beach time on a Monday. Good for you if you are. Let's get you outside with your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from Murkison building in downtown Wilmington and also scooting along in that southerly flow. Some cumulus clouds, just a few babies there. They're not producing any storms, but uh, there's a chance they grow up a little later this afternoon as they've done over the last 12 to 24 hours. By the way, how about those storms giving us a, a clearance over 99% of the weekend? That was awesome. Beautiful weather. And if you're out and about this afternoon and you like it warm and if you like it, if you like it humid, too, you're saying it's pretty beautiful if, if that's the weather that suits your fancy. Uh, to the tune of it's a sweaty 92 for a feels like. Summery vibes for sure. Radar scan is not active in a collective sense, but I do want to get out literally the magnifying glass tool here and zoom in on the few showers that we do have. See these strays just kind of straddling the confluence of the Cape Fear, Northeast Cape Fear River. Just a few raindrops splatting down on your windshield for travelers right along I-140, for example. See that little flare up? Just a sign that the atmosphere is not totally averse to popping showers and storms. And with more daytime heating, could even have some isolated severe weather. The National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center is still couching us in a level one slash level two severe risk through this evening. So it's not the highest chance and really the storms overall are going to be of the hit or miss variety. So there's some backyards that miss, but just the same as we go from 3 p.m. forward into this evening, there's some action on future radar. Keep an eye out with with your WECT weather app. Less action tomorrow. And then as we scoot you to Wednesday, the next impulse in the flow may be able to get the convective coverage just a little bit higher. So Kim, medium storm chances for the rest of today, low chances tomorrow, back to medium for the middle parts of the week. Looking ahead to uh, Father's Day weekend, Kim, one thing that's not going to be medium, that's going to be on high, that's the temperatures, 80s even converting to 90s a time or two. Back to you.